Saw movies are sick, and there are more gruesome deaths than we can count. Still, someone has to rank them, and we're going to do it so you don't have to. Without further ado, here are the 10 most gruesome deaths in the history of Saw. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. The Acid Spikes Trap is one of the most gruesome and unfair traps in the Saw franchise. It involves a man named William Easton, who is an executive of a health insurance company that denied coverage to a lot of people, including John Kramer, the original Jigsaw killer. William is forced to go through a series of tests where he has to choose who lives and who dies among his employees and associates. The final test takes place in a room where William is strapped to a device that has six metal rods attached to his limbs, chest, and jaw. Each rod has a syringe filled with hydrofluoric acid at the end, which can dissolve human flesh and bone. The device is connected to a heart monitor that measures William's pulse rate. If his heart rate goes above a certain level, the device will inject the acid into his body. In front of William, there are two cages where Jill and Hoffman have placed two people who have a personal connection to him. His sister Pamela, and a mother-son pair named Tara and Brent. Tara is the widow of Harold Abbott, a man who died of cancer after William denied his coverage. Brent is Harold's son who blames William for his father's death. Tara and Brent have a switch that can either free William or kill him by activating the device. Tara seems to be willing to forgive William and let him go, but Brent is full of anger and hatred. He pushes the switch without hesitation, causing the device to inject all the acid into William's body. William screams in agony as his flesh melts away, leaving only his skeleton behind. Next, we have another trap William Easton went through. An oxygen crusher is a brutal trap that tests the lung capacity and endurance of two men who are trapped in a room with a giant metal contraption. The contraption has two large metal plates that are attached to oxygen masks. The men have to wear the masks and breathe through them, and every time they inhale, the plates move closer to their bodies, threatening to crush them. The only way to stop the plates from moving is to hold their breath, but that also deprives them of oxygen. The trap is a race against time and death, as the men have to survive for as long as possible, until one of them runs out of air and dies. The trap is pretty unfair, as it pits two men against each other who have no connection or conflict. The only reason they are chosen is because they work for the same health insurance company that denied coverage to John Kramer, the original Jigsaw killer. The main test subject is William Easton, and the other man is Hank, a janitor who works for William. Hank is also a smoker, which gives him a disadvantage in the trap, as his lungs are weaker and less efficient than William's. The trap is basically a death sentence for Hank, who has no chance of winning or escaping. This death scene is from Saw 4, so there's this lady, Brenda, who's got some seriously shady stuff going on. She's into some not-so-great business, hiring young women to do some sketchy stuff. But here's the twist, she gets caught, goes to trial, and gets off the hook with some legal magic. She's got this lawyer, Art Blank, who saves her skin. But you know how it is with Jigsaw. Nobody gets away that easily, so Brenda finds herself in this nasty trap called the scalping seat. She's strapped into this chair with her ponytail stuck right in between these massive gears. And guess what? The key to escape. Yeah, it's on those gears. But here's the kicker. She can't do this alone. She needs another person to help her get out. Enter Daniel Rigg, a cop who's caught up in all this crazy jigsaw stuff. He comes to the rescue, but not before Brenda's scalp is almost ripped off by those gears. It's like a nightmare you can't wake up from. And as if that's not enough, Ray kind of finishes her off by throwing her into a mirror, leaving her to bleed out. No fun fact here, just a good old gross scene. For this next death, we're delving into Saw 5 territory. This time, we've got a guy named Seth Baxter in the hot seat. Now, Seth's no angel. He's a murderer, and not just any murderer. He's the one who murdered Mark Hoffman's sister, which puts him right on Jigsaw's radar. You know how revenge goes in these movies. So here's the deal. Seth is tied up, and Hoffman is watching from the sidelines. Seth's got a choice. He can either crush both his hands in these vices, or let this massive pendulum blade slice him in half. It's like a seriously messed up version of Choose Your Own Adventure. But wait, there's more. Even if he goes with the vices, the pendulum doesn't stop swinging. You can guess where this is headed. Seth's hands get crushed, but that blade doesn't quit. The result? Well, it's a scene you won't soon forget. It's gory, it's brutal, and it's like something straight out of a nightmare. The Hot Wax Trap is a horrific trap from Spiral that involves a woman named Angie Garza, who is the captain of the police department that is investigating the copycat Jigsaw killer. She is kidnapped by the killer and placed in a trap that consists of a metal contraption that holds her head in place and a large vat of boiling wax that is suspended above her. The wax is dripping onto her face, slowly covering it and suffocating her. The only way to stop the wax is to sever her spinal cord by pushing a lever with the back of her neck, which has a sharp blade attached to it. The trap is activated by a timer that counts down from two minutes, the trap is designed to punish Angie for being corrupt and covering up the crimes of her fellow officers. It also tests her loyalty and courage, as she has to choose between living as a paraplegic or dying by suffocation. The trap is extremely cruel and painful, as the wax burns and sticks to her skin, making it impossible to breathe or see. It is also very difficult and unlikely to escape, as the blade is hard to reach and the wax starts pouring immediately. 
The trap does not follow the rules of Jigsaw as it does not give Angie a fair chance to survive or redeem herself. It is one of the most terrifying and gruesome traps in the Spiral movie. Alright, let's get into the sixth death scene. And this one's a real head-turner from Saw 3D. So we've got these four guys, Evan, Kara, Dan, and Jake, who are all pretty awful people. They're racists, bullies, you name it. And Jigsaw's got a special treat for them called the Horsepower Trap. Picture this. Evan's strapped naked to a car seat and Kara's under the car's rear tire. Dan's got these hooks in his arms and jaw and Jake's strapped to the garage door. Talk about teamwork. Now Evan's got to pull a lever to stop the car's engine. But it's not that easy. If he does, he's going to lose some serious skin. Well, guess what? Evan tries but fails. The result is a nightmare roller coaster of gore. The car's wheel crushes Kara's face, Dan's arms and jaw get ripped off, Jake gets run over by the car and Evan goes flying through the windshield and into another car's back window. It's like a gruesome domino effect and you're left with your jaw on the floor. And here's a wild tidbit. Chester Bennington, the lead singer of Linkin Park, played Evan in this trap. Let's talk about the unforgettable The Brazen Bull Trap from Saw 3D. So the stage is set. Bobby Dagan, played by Sean Patrick Flannery, finds himself in the hot seat. He's got to save his wife, and the only way to do it is to recreate a trap he lied about facing earlier for the sake of publicity. Talk about your karma coming back around, right? But here's where it gets absolutely horrifying. When Bobby fails to save his wife, she ends up in one of the most brutal and nightmarish deaths ever seen in the Saw franchise. She's roasted alive inside what's called a brazen bull, a twisted and sinister device from the history books. It's like being trapped in a metal bull-shaped chamber, and the heat just keeps rising. There's no escape, and the pain is beyond comprehension. It's a horrifying moment that sticks with you long after the credits roll. This death scene is a doozy from Saw 3. Say hello to Allison Carey, a detective who's been getting a bit too close to Jigsaw's secrets. Now you might think she's the last person who deserves his twisted treatment, but Jigsaw's got a funny way of looking at things. So here's the deal. Allison ends up in this gnarly trap called the Angel. She's got this contraption locking around her ribcage, and in front of her is this beaker filled with acid. And guess what? The key to escape. Yeah, it's in that acid. So she's got to dunk her hand in there and grab it. Sounds lovely, right? But hold on. Even if she does all that, Jigsaw's still got a trick up his sleeve. The contraction activates and rips her ribcage apart. It's like something out of a nightmare, and the imagery is just insane. You can practically feel the tension as she struggles to escape this horrifying fate. All right, let's dig into the ninth death scene, and it's another jaw-dropper from Saw 3D. Say hello to Jill Tuck, John Kramer's ex-wife who's got her own issues with Jigsaw's legacy. You might think she's safe from his traps, but this is Saw we're talking about, nobody's safe. So here's the deal. Jill finds herself in a twisted version of the reverse bear trap, the same one that was used on Amanda in the first movie. Talk about poetic justice, right? Now, if you remember that scene, you know this trap's no joke. It's this contraption that rips your jaw wide open, and it's like a living nightmare. So there's Jill strapped up, and the timer starts counting down. But this time, it's not Jigsaw himself, it's Mark Hoffman pulling the strings. Revenge is on his mind big time. Jill's got no way out. It's confess or face the same fate she put Amanda through. When that timer hits zero, all hell breaks loose. Jill's jaw gets ripped open, and the whole thing is so graphic and horrifying, you won't forget it. The Silent Circle is one of the most disturbing traps in the Saw franchise because it forces the viewer to imagine the agony of the victim, rather than showing it explicitly. The victim is a young woman who is strapped to a chair with a metal collar around her neck. The collar is connected to a device that measures the sound level in the room. Every time she makes a noise, sharp spikes move closer to her throat, threatening to pierce her jugular vein. The only way to free her is to use a key that is attached to a fish hook inside her stomach. The hook is connected to a string that goes through her mouth. Dagan, the protagonist, has to pull the string and retrieve the key before the timer runs out. He only has 60 seconds to do this. As he pulls the string, the hook tears through her flesh and organs, causing her unbearable pain. She can't help but scream, which makes the spikes move faster. Dagan tries to calm her down, but it's too late. The spikes stab her through the neck and kill her instantly. Thanks for watching. These are the top 10 most brutal deaths in the Saw series. Which one scared you the most? Remember to leave a like and comment which trap chilled you to the bone. See you next time.